What's up guys, Tony here with High Tech Check. Today we're going to be taking a look at a little RF keyboard and touchpad combo made by iPassport. Now, I purchased another one of their products. It was a little keyboard that you put on the back of your Amazon Fire Stick remote and it worked really well. Will this be the same? We'll find out. So I was trying to find something that would replace my regular size keyboard with the built-in touchpad for my computer that I was using it for and my Chromebox because the keyboard that I was using was not backlit and it's a pain in the butt to try to sit, you know, at night watching a movie and you gotta, you know, search for something and the lights, you know, just don't light up and it's hard to see. So I wanted to try to find a little keyboard that was some, you know, big enough to where you could like fit in your pocket and it had a nice backlit display and I happened to come across this. So it's an RF keyboard, it's not Bluetooth, so you do need uh, the little to use the little USB dongle that comes with it. It's got some pretty good range on it. I can sit on my couch, no problems with the reception or anything. So let me show you what you get inside the box. I'll put a link in the description below in case you guys want to check it out yourself, but here's the keyboard. It's very nice. I mean, it, it's about the size of uh, probably a Samsung Note. You can put it in your pocket, definitely. It's got like every keyboard that, uh, I'm sorry, every button that you would have on a regular keyboard pretty much. It's got your media buttons up here, really nice. Got your little touchpad. The touchpad, because it's so small, sometimes you will have to you know keep swiping over to get the mouse to go where you want, but it's uh, very touch sensitive and it works very well. It's got your scroll bar up and down here because you're you know viewing a web page. It's got eight programmable buttons here. So if you want to make you know that your power button, it doesn't have to be. These are you know there for your convenience, but you can program these to whatever you want. You just take the other remote, uh, you know, press and hold a couple buttons here, press the button you want, and it's programmed. That simple. It works really well. So here is my TV, here is the remote. I'm gonna show you those little program buttons that I did. So I did make the little power button here. I'll show you. The little power button here at the top. I made that my power button for my TV, so I'll press that. And it turns the TV on. I also do have the volume up and down buttons here. <laughs> that also works really well. So like I said, you can program these to pretty much uh, anything you want, which is really convenient. It also has your left and right mouse click buttons, which is really nice. So we turn it on for you. It does have a backlit display, which is pretty nice. Um, it's got blue, red, and green. So there's the green. It does light up very bright at night. It's really easy to see. There's your blue. And there's your red. I personally like the green, but you know, that's just me. But it also has a removable battery in case you, um, you know, you need a new one. So that's pretty convenient. Just take out the battery here, pop in a new one. Uh, and it also carries your little USB dongle there. And like I said, it is RF. Uh, you'll just have to use the little USB. It's not Bluetooth. So I've been using it for about a week now and it works fairly well. I have uh, only one complaint. And that is when you're typing, if you're a very quick typer, it won't register some of the buttons that you press. So you're going to have to slow it down a little bit and really, you know, take your time, press that button. The boy ran up the hill. So the boy and ooh the ill. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you got to just make sure you type a little slower and then here's that Windows button. Another cool thing with this is that you can connect this to your Android phone, which I happen to have right here. You just get yourself a little adapter called the OTG and then <laughs> it has a little mouse and you can swipe through your screens. <laughs> uh, use the keyboard just as normal. Uh, the Windows button doesn't do anything because this is not a Windows phone. <laughs> so, I mean, here you have your like your little menu button. 
So it's cool if you're you know you're on the go and you want to type out something. You can use this as a like a little keyboard, which is pretty cool. Now I've also connected this up to my Mac, my my iMac. It works just as a normal keyboard would with a touchpad. I hooked it up to my computer. It works just as a regular keyboard would really well. I hooked this up to my smart TV. It's a, a Samsung smart TV. It does not work. It doesn't do anything, so that won't work. I hooked this up to my uh, Google Chrome box. Works just like a normal keyboard would. And I also believe that this would work on a Raspberry Pi too. If you, if you're using that for like, um, you know, watching TV or something. This comes in handy as well. This is available on Amazon right now. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description below in case you guys want to check it out yourself. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you know when I put out new videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.